So I just wanted to quickly show uh, another little physics toy that I added to the real virtual physics environment today. Uh, this is called Slopey Barbell. And basically one side of it follows the position of your hand, just the Y position of the controller, the real controller that's being tracked in real time. And the other one is um, just two frames behind, well, not two frames, but um, 200 milliseconds, because that's when uh, I drop a dot every every 100 milliseconds. Um, and so now we have our speed graph and our, excel, uh, sorry, our position graph and our speed graph. Um, and there's speed donut. And so the point of this is I just want to have these different little toys that uh, react to different things and um, show different properties in different ways of the, the real thing that's being tracked. And so here's speed donut that's showing the speed, um, going around graphing the speed basically in a circle. And slopey barbell is in there. Um, and you can see that when there's a high speed, there's a high slope to the arm of the barbell because there's a big difference in position between right now and the other barbell side, which is, um, you know, two tenths of a second behind. Um, and, and I just want to have an intuition for the idea of slope meaning something about speed or that slope can represent a change over time. And I think most people can get this when they learn about it. Uh, but feeling it and, and interacting with it in real time, I think, makes a big difference. And just being able to get that intuition for exactly what's going on. So uh, there's a little, a little work to be done on the scaling there with the, the slope of the arm versus the, the time. So here I'm trying to see how if I kind of lift the controller at a constant rate, uh, the slope will be the same. Uh, everything's moving, it's moving at a constant speed, and so that the tilt of the barbell uh, stays the same as it's moving upwards until it stops and then the slope goes to zero when the two barbells of the barbell are in the same spot. But the idea is that you should just be able to play with it and discover things and discover concepts like I should be able to switch context very quickly and switch what I'm looking at just by looking at different spots in this environment, which is so easy to do because it's in 3D and space all around you. So I started drawing a circle and I wanted to know what that looks like. And you can see in the um, in the Y position graph, it looks like a sine wave. Uh, and and this, the speed, the three dimensional speed is pretty constant. That's the, the blue graph. Um, while slopey barbell is showing uh, just the Y component of the speed. And you can see it tilting back and forth in a, in a sine wave way as well, while speed donut, which measures absolute speed, is uh, was giving kind of a constant small speed. And here I'm trying to get just the Y component of that circle, trying to feel what that feels like. And now the blue speed graph is um, showing more of a, a changing speed because at the top and bottom, the speed goes to zero. So. It's just some toys to play with, and I want to add more toys and be able to grab them and have them interact and put them on your head and stick them onto each other and uh, just make a really exploratory environment. And that is the update on real virtual physics.